English listening and speaking practice. Painting and artists. Hi Isabella, I heard you're interested in painting. Do you like visiting art galleries? Hello Eric, yes, I love painting. I really enjoy going to art galleries and looking at different works of art. What about you? I'm also a fan of art, but I'm not very knowledgeable about painting techniques or famous painters. Can you tell me more about it? Of course. Painting is a form of art where an artist uses colors and brushes to create images on a surface, usually a canvas or paper. There are many different styles and techniques in painting. That's interesting. What are some famous painting styles? Some well-known painting styles include realism, where artists try to paint things as they really look, impressionism, which captures the feeling of a scene using light and color, and abstract, where artists use shapes and colors to express emotions or ideas. I've heard of some famous painters like Leonardo da Vinci and Vincent van Gogh. Can you tell me more about them? Sure. Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian artist from the Renaissance period. He is famous for his paintings, such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch painter from the 19th century, known for his unique style and paintings like the Starry Night. Those paintings are really famous. Are there any other famous painters you can tell me about? There are so many. Some other famous painters include Pablo Picasso, who was a Spanish artist and known for his unique style called Cubism, and Frida Kahlo, a Mexican painter who is famous for her self-portraits and use of vibrant colors. It's fascinating how each painter has their own unique style. Can you tell me more about the process of creating a painting? Sure. When an artist wants to create a painting, they usually start by sketching their ideas on paper. Then, they choose the colors and materials they will use, like different types of paint and brushes. After that, they start painting on a canvas, applying layers of paint until they achieve the desired effect. That sounds like a lot of work. How can I learn more about painting and artists? You can visit art galleries, museums, and exhibitions to see paintings up close and learn more about the artists. You can also read books, watch documentaries, or take an art class to learn more about painting techniques and history. Thank you, Isabella. You've given me a great introduction to the world of painting. I think I'll visit a local art gallery soon to see some paintings in person. You're welcome, Eric. I'm glad I could help. Enjoy exploring the world of art, and don't hesitate to ask me any more questions you might have. Thanks, Isabella. Have a great day. You too, Eric. Take care. English listening and speaking practice. Weather and seasons. Good morning, Mary. Beautiful weather we're having, isn't it? Yes, it is, James. It's such a sunny day. It seems like a perfect spring day. I agree. Speaking of which, spring is my favorite season. I love seeing the flowers bloom and the leaves grow back on trees. That's nice, James. I like spring too, but I prefer autumn. I find the colors of the leaves very beautiful. Autumn does have its charm. But I don't really enjoy the colder weather that follows. Oh, you mean winter. I actually like winter. I enjoy the snow and I love to wear cozy sweaters. I can understand why you like winter. Snow can be fun and cozy clothes are nice. But I always feel cold and I'm not fond of shoveling snow. I see. What about summer, James? Do you like it? Yes, I do. I love the warm weather, the long days, and the fact that we can go to the beach. What about you, Mary? I like summer too, but sometimes it gets too hot for me. I prefer the mild temperatures of spring and autumn. 
That makes sense. By the way, do you usually check the weather forecast? Yes, I do. I like to know what the weather will be like, so I can plan my day. I usually check the weather on my phone. Me too. It's helpful to know if it's going to rain or if it will be hot. Speaking of the weather, do you know what the forecast is for tomorrow? I think it's going to rain. We might need to bring our umbrellas. Thanks for the heads up, Mary. I'll make sure to keep my umbrella handy. You're welcome, James. It's always good to be prepared. Indeed, it is. Well, it was nice talking to you about the weather and the seasons, Mary. It was nice talking to you too, James. Have a great day. You too, Mary. Enjoy the weather. Thank you, James. You too. English listening and speaking practice. Planning a weekend pool party. Hi Mary, how are you today? Hi James, I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm good, thanks. I was thinking about planning a pool party this weekend. What do you think? That sounds like a lot of fun. What do you need to prepare for it? Well, I think we need to think about a few things, the guest list, food and drinks, and entertainment. Right, let's start with the guest list. How many people are you planning to invite? I was thinking about inviting around 15 people. I think that's a good number for a pool party. That sounds like a good number. It's important not to invite too many people so it's not too crowded. Exactly. Now, what about food and drinks? What should we serve? Since it's a pool party, we should keep the food light and refreshing. Maybe some sandwiches, fruit, and salads. For drinks, we can serve water, lemonade, and iced tea. That sounds perfect. I'll make sure to prepare some vegetarian options as well. Now, what about entertainment? Well, since it's a pool party, swimming will be the main activity. But we could also have some music playing in the background. Good idea. I have a waterproof speaker that we can use. Should we also have some pool games? Yes, that would be fun. We could have pool noodles and inflatable balls for a game of water volleyball. That sounds like a lot of fun. Is there anything else we need to think about? Just make sure to have enough seating and shade for everyone, especially if it's a hot day. And it's always a good idea to have some sunscreen available. That's a great point. I'll make sure to prepare some sun umbrellas and sunscreen. Thanks for your help, Mary. You're welcome, James. It sounds like you're going to have a fantastic pool party. Let me know if you need any more help. Thank you, Mary. I'll definitely keep you updated. Have a great day. You too, James. Enjoy your pool party.